But your man of God, as Pastor Jao said, we've all been very good friends. They were part of our team, Brighter team. He was part of my groom's men. She was part of <laughs> yeah, part of 2002. 2002, when, when we got married. So when, when I, I was for this case. I said, man of God, 40 years. When will you get married? <laughs> and God being so good, two years afterwards, he got married. Hallelujah. Amen. We, we celebrate you. We celebrate the graces of God upon your life. And we celebrate your children as well. Hallelujah. Amen. Two kids, Josie, Jesse, Jesse and Jodel. Where are they? One is somewhere. So where were we? Where were you? <laughs> Hallelujah. It's all joy. It's all joy. If you are not married yet, just tap into the grace. Hallelujah. And like Pastor Freddy said, we've got to honor and celebrate this men who have sacrificed all for the work of God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The love for the work of God is that which brought them into this land to contract many years ago. And they still been in the business of God. Hallelujah. Please let's celebrate them once again. And like some people, you know, we don't want to be like some people. Say, God, you keep our pastor. Bless our pastor, keep him safe. And we, the church members, will keep him poor. No. Okay? Make sure you don't keep your pastor poor. And it is, it is a curse when a man of God's heart grieves. After church members, make sure your pastor doesn't grieve over you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, support the work. Don't frustrate the work of God. I always say the church is not for any man. The church is not for pastor, nor for the wife. The church is for God. And we are for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes with Pastor Kodo, I said, the church is not Pastor Kodo's church. I haven't got any church. I didn't bring any church. The church is for God. And I am for God. You are, you are part of it. So you are also what? For God. So all of us is the church of God and we are all in it together. So don't come and frustrate me. That's what I've been telling them. <laughs> I bear in my body the mass of Christ. Don't come and frustrate me. At this time, I have my peace. <laughs> I have my peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please help me celebrate my dear wife, Pastor Barbara. Amen. And the peace. I, I told them for once, just stay back and let me go and say, no, 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 no. I'm also coming. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. It shows how much she loves Stoke. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah. I believe not only Stoke, but to also see a boyfriend. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> we are here with my kids, Isabel, Lisa Owen, Darwin, and Kelsey. God richly bless you all. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lift up your hands wherever you are. Begin to speak in the language of the Spirit if, if you can. Open your mouth. Just close your eyes. Pray in the language of the Spirit. Masufa tali vidi vidi katoli maduzi vidi. Allah masufa li mi kotali mi di vidi. Ma kotali mi di votele me kotele me di vidi 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 satali. Avante bedo badi mi di vidi vidi. So kali mi do kali mi. Aya zuma ata bedele me duli yaban. Loose as low. Pray for the spirit of understanding. Pray for the spirit of understanding. 
pray for the spirit of understanding. Makatalu ada bedo de bede bede be. Ela me kote le me dova. Mati le vento lo makute le buroshi yaba. La ma 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 zula profeta de me. Ata le me do me de me de kote le me do de. Ela me kovente le bede bede be. Stir up your spirit, up. Stir up your spirit. Stir up your spirit. Stir up your spirit, my Sufi Deli. Let me tell them that put them the pay. Let me deal with your Banu Ali and my Baba Man. Let's move into another dimension, higher dimensions, higher dimension, higher dimensions. From glory to glory, from glory to glory, move into higher dimension of His glory. Come on, lift up your voice, Kalebedi. Let me tell them that you go to the bar. Alena le bra ba 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 lua ba 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 ba. Yes, city di apole me. Alua kampani bini bini bini. Fendi bini bini bini. Koti ni mi sudi ikadebe. Eshia was ever true, changing me. I'm changing you. We have come with open hearts. All oh, of the ancient words we've Ancient words have a truth. John, John, the chapter number 10. John, the chapter number 10. Keep it cool. Let's go. No, no, I like the mystery yet, but keep it low. Move according to my pace. Normally, I hear sounds. I minister with sounds. Father, mm. John, the chapter number 10. God bless you all the leaders and all the pastors in the house. We are combining our graces to celebrate <laughs> and to minister unto our God. John chapter 10, the verse number 10. John chapter 10, the verse number 10. The thief cometh not. The thief cometh not. It's a very popular verse of scripture. John 10, 10. If you go to Sunday school, the thief <laughs> cometh not, but for to steal. The thief does not come to pamper you. The thief does not come to massage you. The thief does not come to play with us. The thief does not come to make us what happy. So the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill. The thief cometh to steal, reduce. When they still, someone steals from you, the person reduces. You 
your account balance reduces you from where you are, diminishes you. The thief cannot not but to steal and to kill. Say to kill. kill. To kill means to slay, slaughter, sacrifice. Have you seen members of a family where they sacrifice others because of material wealth? That is the assignment of the thief. The thief comes to what? To kill, to sacrifice, and to destroy. Hallelujah. To destroy means to make to perish, to ring, to ring, to make to perish. <coughs> when a bomb is detonated here in this building, this building comes to rings. The thief come and not. But for to steal and to kill and destroy, I am come that they might have life. This is Christ Jesus speaking. He said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more. Say more. More. I am come that they might have life, not only having life, but they might have it more. Not only more, but what? Abundance. So we see the curriculum retire of the teeth. The teeth who comes not to massage us, not to play with us, not to entertain us. We see his assignment to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And the assignment of our Savior, I am come that they might have life. And it doesn't end there. Have life what? More. Not only more, but what? Abundantly. Say life. Life. life, more life, life. abundant life. 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 life, more life, life. abundant life. life. John chapter 11. John chapter 11, the verse number 44. The assignment of our Savior, our Master, our Lord Christ Jesus is to give us life. So when you are born again, it is not enough to be born again. You are born again. Our born again experience must not only end at salvation. There is more to salvation. As for some, they say, oh, I, am, I, I want to be born again in order not to miss heaven. That is not. That I am come that you may have life. More life and what? Abundant. John chapter 11, the verse number 44, is also a very popular verse of scripture. Most of us know the story of Lazarus. Lazarus. Verse 44. And he that was dead, he that was dead, came forth. He that was dead, that was Lazarus. So we, we are seeing practically the work of the teeth, the teeth, and the work of Christ Jesus at work. 
the thief came and his assignment was to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In this scenario, we have a man by name Lazarus who was a friend of Jesus Christ. The man fell ill. They sent a message to Christ Jesus. He whom you love, the one you love is sick unto death. Christ Jesus never bothered. He never came. <laughs> oh. The one he loves, so a church member can be sick, a pastor will not visit him, and it will tell it well, well, well. <laughs> that is an excuse enough. <laughs> he who you love is sick or two. He never bothered. And after when he was dead, they sent a message. Now you didn't come. The man is dead. He is dead, yo. <laughs> then he tells his disciples, let's go. The Lazarus is sleeping. If he's sleeping, he will wake up. He will wake up. <laughs> on the way, a lot happened on the way. That's but right. that is not what, because of our time, that is not what I want to focus on. I want us to focus on the verse 44. When he got there, that which the thief has tempered with, that which the thief has dealt with, he also said, I am come. I am come. The thief has put him to what? Has killed, destroyed. But I am come. And we saw that is that when it's coming that we may have what? Life. More life. A permanent life. So verse 34. And he that was dead, when Jesus got there, he said, Where have you kept him? He said, He's dead four days. By now he's thinking. And he commanded, roll away the stone for this dead. Roll away the stone. And he spake with a loud voice. After he has wept, he sighed and spake with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. And verse 44 says, and he that was dead came forth. He that was dead did what? He came forth. Meaning, he received life. And he came forth. As to how he came forth, we, we cannot tell. And he that was dead came forth. He that was dead came forth. He had life. Life was introduced into he that was dead, and he came forth. Bible says, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. He that was dead came forth. When he came forth, hands bound, foot bound, face bound. 
How did he come forth? <laughs> he that was there came forth. So he fulfilled the first condition. I have come that ye might have what? Life. He that was there came for bow, hand and foot with grave clothes and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him, loose him, loose him and let him go. Loose him and let him go. Loose him and let him go. I believe this verse of scripture, John, when he wrote it, he wrote it many years after the death, after Christ Jesus had ascended. He was a witness of what happened. And after Christ Jesus had ascended, he was now recounting whatever happened. I am come that ye might have life. And have it more abundantly. So John wanted to demonstrate that whatever the thief, the thief has come to kill and to destroy, there is a redeemer, there is a savior. When he comes, when he appears on the scene, he introduces life. And not only does he introduce life, he introduces life in it more and in its abundance. It is not enough to be born again. A lot of people we are born again, and yet they are certain things meant for us to enjoy. We have been deprived of enjoying those things. So we are like Lazarus. We've come out of the grave. Come on now. We've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. But we are not beneficiaries of the kingdom of his dear son. Like in the case of Lazarus, he came forth. He had life. He was pretty. But he wasn't enjoying life. More life and more abundant life. There were hindrances. Certain things were hindering him from enjoying more life and abundant life. Well, what is your thing this year? A thousand times more. How can you enjoy a thousand times more when you have your hands down, when you have your feet down, when you have your face covered? Come on up. Even though you are born again, you are a Christian. Amen. How can you enjoy that thousand times more? Say, so lose him. Lose him. <coughs> lose him. And let him go. Mm-hmm. He had his hands bound. Our hands are symbolic of ministry. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bible says he will bless the works of our hands. Come on now. If our hands are tied spiritually, Whatever we do with our hands does not prosper. Bible says he will prosper the works of our hands. You are born again. To enjoy a thousand times more, you need for your hands to be loosened. And we go, my hands are blessed with the blessings of the Lord. Everything I touch, the hands are bound. Amen. So when you touch the things, the things are what what blessed. <laughs> because you have what? Bound hands. As Pastor Clement, like we believe in hands. <laughs> The hands are bound, they need to be loosened or tied. When our hands we work, when our hands we give, when 
our hands. We do things with our hands. With our hands, we are skillful with our hands. But if these hands are bound, even though we are believers, we are Christians, we will not enjoy more life. The life that we are meant to enjoy. This morning, God is here. And the angels of God, they are here to untie our hands. Lose him. Lose him. And let him go. Amen. So imagine his hands are loosened. Now the foot are what? Tied. Your foot are bound. When your foot, what do you do? You move. <laughs> you move. Come on now. Hallelujah. Amen. But when your foot are tied and bound, you are stagnant. How can you enjoy? Thousand times a more blessing when you are not able to move. Your blessings are there, but you are stagnant somewhere. How can you move to where? Look, look at this. In order to get that, I need to do what? Move and take it. But when my feet are bound, I am stagnant. I cannot move. There is no mobility. There is no mobility. A lot of us will be stagnant. Christians, born again, that will be stagnant for far too long, for years. Today, the angels of the Lord will lose us in order to enjoy a thousand times and more blessings. Amen. Thank you. Because of bound foot, we can go to fruitful places to acquire that which is ours. Mm-hmm. But this morning, yeah. said, so lose him, lose him, lose him, lose him, and let him go. Hands bound, so hands are loosened, foot are loosened. Yes. Now there's another one limitation. What was the limitation? Napkin, great clothes. That has covered his head. And his head, your eyes, your face, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your face covered. If your head is bound with great clothes, you can shout a thousand times a more blessings. But what, what, with which eyes would you see? Those blessings. No, sir. Ask your neighbor, which, which eyes will you see a thousand times and more blessings? And all these have got their spiritual connotations. In the emphasis of John, but we don't have time. This is a whole series. Apostle Paul speaking in the book of Ephesians say, The eyes of their understanding shall be enlightened that they may know. So if your eyes are bound, you cannot see, you cannot know the riches. And of the inheritance, spot up for the space. So your eyes are down. How can you see? May the Lord take away every great loss from our eyes. Amen. Your ears are covered, they are down. How can you hear good news? Uh, when they said there is good news, they, they are saying everybody come to hand it. They are sharing 5,000 pounds. You alone. <laughs> Everybody will go and collect his own head. I went, oh, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. You know, we've been in this country for long. Sometimes opportunities. They come and they go. And you ask them, oh, I didn't. I didn't hear. I just will say, I didn't know. Yeah, they are eyes. Abound, 
and your mouth, la bouche. Have you got our French people here? The <laughs> uh, Bible said, open your mouth wide. And I feel it. But this mouth is what? Now, how can the mouth be open? How can we hear your shouts of victory? How can we hear your shouts of joy? The mouth is covered. It's pound. He said, Lucy. 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 And let him go. Lazarus came out of the grave. He had life. But he had something that connected him to the grave. Something that tied him back to the grave. And that was a limitation for him. Enjoying life. More life and abundant life. And Christ Jesus came to deal with all this. He not only gave him life, he gave him more life and abundant life. When you read the preceding chapters, we could see when the Pharisees, when they came, they saw Lazarus sitting at the temple and feasting with the master. How can you sit and feast? We say, feasting fe- 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 at your table, surrounded by your glory in your head. Your feet are bound. Your head bound, hand bound. With what feet? What table are you going to sit and to feast? But when Lazarus, when the great clothes were loosened, from his hands, his feet, and his face, he could now sit a feast and enjoy a powdered life. Enjoy, enjoy. You will enjoy a thousand times and more. You will sit at the feet of the master. You will sit at the feet with great men. When the great clothes are untied, hallelujah, greatness awaits us. I said, greatness awaits us. Some of us, we are meant to contact prominent, influential people in this land and in this, uh, in this nation. This afternoon, God will untie every great loss for us to function the way He wants us to function. For us to go as far as He wants us to go. For us to reach the destination He has yearned for us to reach. Lose Him and let Him go. Lose Him and let Him go. No sin and let him go. Shall we be on our feet? Jesus. No sin. 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 And let him go. Wherever you are, all eyes close. I want us to respond to the message. We want to lift up our voices. We want to activate the atmosphere of the angelic for elucidating. Hallelujah. For elucidating. Elucidating. Don't keep. Don't keep. Don't keep your mouth shut. If you can pray in the language of the spirit, lift up your hands. And begin to pray now. Lift up your hands. Fata lamba dole mene kapa dole bede fata. Na ma 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 zuli ya palo malu abala balimi. Venta limi kote zimi ni kwe telebe. Le pe telebe duli ya bele belu abat. Ana ma 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 ma. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Say, loose me, Lord. Loose me, Lord. Lord. 
Fatabado le BDB. Fala Madi. Lift up your hands. You are too gentle for my liking. Look, there is an atmosphere, the angelic. We don't, we don't, we don't activate the atmosphere with this gentility. This is what we call bedroom when you are communing with the Holy Ghost in your bedroom. Lift up your hands. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My father, my father. Lose my hands. Lose my hands. Untie my hands. Untie my feet. Untie my hands. Untie my feet. Lose me, Lord, to enjoy the thousand times and more blessings you are fearful for me this year. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Open your mouth. Shout out to Lose my hands. Yes, Satana, but don't let me die. I pray that you will pray that you will pray. Let God pull me, 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 me. No power you will pray that you will pray. Yes, Satan. Will you pray that you will pray? And let God tell you that you will pray that you will say. La praya zul la praya me. Lose me, Lord. 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 Clap your hands. Child of God, I said in the beginning that the thing does not come to entertain us. Be aggressive. Lose me, Lord. 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 Lose me, Lord.
the realms of the spirit. I am seeing, you see this candy. Uh, that there is this um, like a white, white thing that they put candies in. There's, there's strong boys, they wear a strong boy, and the candies come out of that white thing, <laughs> container. I am seeing that thing, and I'm seeing candies in those things. Huh? But as I look at the container, that transparent white thing, instead of the um, wraps containing the candies, they've been, it's loose wraps. It's like they've eaten the candies, and they still let the wraps in the transparent container. So when you look at it, it's like there's candies in, but it is what? Empty. You understand what I'm saying? Fullness. I declare by the force of the Spirit of Jehovah God that let there be fullness. Let there be fullness. Let there be fullness. Let there be fullness. We replace any and everything that the thief has stolen from your life. Ah, on the outside, it will not look as though it is what goodness. No, we replace, we replace, we replace fullness. Take it a deep breath for me. Three times. One, two, three. Receive the fullness. Now, receive the fullness. Receive. Receive. May the angels of the Lord replace all that is yours. May they replace. Give us space. I see an angel. I see an angel. Go back a bit. Watch it. Go back a bit. We raise. Yeah.